to start, we're hoping to renew the, the uh, home stands. They're the, the most immediate need. The Sports Enterprise is brought to you by the Timberlands Complex in Salem. We have a committee of uh, leaders throughout our community that are involved in taking a look at you know, what is it that we need to improve, what is it, or the, some of the things that need to be updated. Uh, the home stands are the most, uh, probably the most dire need. Um, things like this track that we're standing on right now, that's certainly something that um, needs addressed. We're looking at paving that, maybe with an asphalt pavement all the way around. Um, uh, repainting, um, taking a look at potentially adding maybe a band shelter, which then would take the band out of the stands. Currently they're in the stands, they sit in the, in the far section of the stands. So those are some of the hot topics. Um, maybe a little tender loving care on our, on our snack shack might be helpful. Uh, I know our coach has already gone and done some fundraising to update the weight room that stands behind me right now. It's uh, tremendously uh, well done. And um, our visitor stands were done some time ago, so you can see they're fairly new. Phase one really is the, the home stands. That's the, the, the most dire need for us to, to make some repairs. Um, you know, secondary stages will be, depend on funding. Um, you know, we'll have to we'll have to decide, and the committee will decide in order of importance on what we think we need to get done, um, and uh, we'll 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 determine that in some future meetings. We've only had maybe three meetings so far, um, but obviously the most uh, emergent need is the home stands. Right now, it looks like the best case scenario is to tear out those existing stands, put in metal stands, much like you see on the visitor side but then also put some concrete walls around that that kind of look like the, the existing stands to kind of give it that, that same feel. Um, but probably is a complete tear out and then retrofit metal inside that same space. We think the home stands are gonna be probably in the neighborhood of about 700,000. Um, we're getting estimates on all the other pieces that we're considering and um, you know, a band shelter can can be uh, pretty expensive. Can be upwards of a hundred thousand to two hundred fifty thousand, depending upon what you what you do to it. Uh, we certainly don't close this off now that we're in a, in a lease now, fifty year lease on the property. Uh, we want it to be used for the community as well. We want this to be a nice spot for our for uh, the people of Columbiana to be able to come in and call their home as well. When do you think the maybe the first phase will start for the renovations? Or? It probably wouldn't be until uh, the fall, late after the fall season of 2021 at, at the earliest. Maybe as late as spring uh, 2022. Um, it's gonna depend upon how our fundraising events go and how well we get this funded. The Sports Enterprise is brought to you by the Timberlands Complex in Salem. Make it an evening or a weekend. You won't want to miss the opportunities available to you at the Timberlands Complex in Salem. Enjoy bone shakers, polished casual dining experience, and top the evening off with some of the widest selections of craft beers, bourbons, and martinis. Then enjoy the connected 50-room hotel in a clean and inviting atmosphere at Stables Inn and Suites. If you're in the mood to cheer for your favorite teams, join us downstairs at Quaker Steak and Lube in Salem. Enjoy your evening or weekend at the Timberlands Complex in Salem.